and that other one. Um, some bad news and some good news. The good news is they did all the blood tests and they've checked it out. You can't find nothing. There's um, no diabetes. There's no liver problem. Um, the only thing that they've found is that my cholesterol is now at 5.2. So it sits me down in the office and I said, we might start putting you onto a statin. I said, well, you did about three years ago. Oh, right. So they looked into laptop, Googled, found out, yeah, I'm taking a statin, a 20 milligram one, a, a taro statin or whatever it is. Sorry for the pronunciation. Um, so that's the only problem that they had. I'm not eligible for another Wellman check because I had one in 2016. So I think my next one's in 2020. Yeah. I'm Wellman. <laughs> um, so apart from that, they're going to ring me back this week, say me going back in and discuss what they've found. So anyway, she rang yesterday. She says she's going to. Even though I started at 7.5 down to 5.2, it's brilliant. They're going to up my dosage on the statin to 40 milligram. Um, asked me if I was suffering with any side effects. I said I was. Um, I get a lot of bad cramp in my calves. And my doctor at that time said that would be due to not taking them at 24 hour periods um, regularly, should we say. Then when I tried to explain it was on four, on four off, two days, two nights, four off, two days, two nights, four off. <sighs> he, he couldn't, he couldn't help me. He tried to tell me to take him at a certain time every night. But then he said, but if you're taking him at 10 o'clock at night, if you're working at 10 o'clock at night, they might want to have the same effect. You need him, supposed to take him when you go to sleep. So I explained that to her, but she said, well, there's nothing we can do as long as it doesn't get too bad. We could change the statin, but they don't want to because they think that one's working for me. Anyway, so we get that sorted. The blood pressure, people have been in touch. On the 23rd, I have to go in to Leighton Hospital um, and have a blood pressure monitor fitted for 24 hours. So it'll go on. I hope it's not that arm because that's one of killing on this arm or whatever and it'll take my blood pressure so many times per day and see what all the average is because every time I go in now and you go with the blood pressure it's up then it's down up then it's down and you can't get a good reading I've got one of these phones one of these watches Anna and this one does blood pressure and everything now so um, I keep an eye on it myself so when I'm watching football, I'm having to walk out before I get worked up. Um, the shoulder, I've not got any better. Still waiting to wait for an MRI, but now because I'm going for the blood pressure fitting, blood pressure monitor fitting on the 23rd, I'm going to set the x-ray in and get x-rayed because the doctor thinks it's impingement. He thinks it's whiplash. I drive my car, I drive the fork trucks, I drive the telehandle, I drive the loading shovel, and I drive all that stuff. Never had a bang, so I can't understand where he's getting this whiplash from. Um, so, that's the good news. Bad news is, I was messing about with a little lad this week while I've been off. And he asked me to have a look at his weed because his weed doesn't work anymore. So when I've got the weed down here, I thought, oh, it doesn't work. And so I was sat there, had a few beers, got on the laptop and thought, I'll soft mod it. So got the software on an SD card in the front, put a USB drive on the back. And now he's got a weed that's working with 100 plus games. Um, 
but it's also got Wii Fit Plus on it. Um, I got on it. In fact, I'll pull a picture up here now. So as you can see, I'm plus 20 stone now. 129 point summit kilos. With me having that in the bathroom, I'm gonna use that every day. I'm gonna try and weigh myself every day on it. And I know you're not supposed to when you're trying to lose weight. But I've gotta do something. I'm 51. And I'm 20 stone. At 20 stone, I'm not gonna make 61. Um, yeah. I'm six foot. And I'm built like a brick. But I've got the belly on me, Anna. Um, and we all know where that's come from. So I'm going to have to rein in my brewing and my beer drinking. And I'm thinking, I know they want you to do 14 units at a minute. I've been off this week and I've put more than 14 units in, I'll tell you that. But with this weather, so it goes and I don't like I don't like a fizzy pop. I can't I can't sand soda, I can't Coca-Cola, oh I can't drink it. Um so the only option I've got is to drink water and squash or low alcohol ale. Even zero alcohol if I if you find it. Um one of the big things about this ghost shit, but I can't do zero alcohol. I don't know how to do zero alcohol. I'd have to look into it. But the brews that I had for next month, they're going to have to be put shells now. Um, I feel sorry because even when I brew Addy Stout up, it's going to be shelled. Um, for the time being, anyway. Basically, that doctor has turned around and said they're going to put me on 40 milligram a star up, the statin or whatever and then in three months time they're going to give me another blood test to see if it's come down if it's come down obviously they'll take me back off the 40 and put me back on 20 see where we are to give it the best chance possible i've come up with i'm going to lose weight i'm going to put me drinking back three months time i'm going to be with me um, hopefully bump into Johnny Anderson when I'm up there. I'll be home, bro. Fingers crossed. Um, and I want to go to Whitby. I don't want to be in hospital clutching up my chest. So, my next couple of brews, I'm going to, as soon as I've finished doing this video with you lot, I'm going to go in the front room, get the base smith on, see what I've got. <laughs> And try and brew a low ABV beer again. Um, the way I'm looking at it, I do the four on four off. So the four off, first one feel like a zombie. Last one you can't drink because you're gonna go and going down the motorway in the morning. So I've got two days there, two days of a week of eight where I could drink. I know I could drink on my change round, but. And that's defeating the power of in it. If I limit myself to 20 units a week, that's giving me five units on each of them, 10 units on each of them days. If I can brew a beer that's two units a pint, I should be alright. Alright, obviously it's not going to add the body of a nice imperial stout or a big thick dirty resinous IPA. But just for the next three months, try and rein it in. See where we are in August. If I've lost the stone and my cholesterol's down at four, open it back up. If I haven't lost anything, and the problem's medical, then that's it. But I'm going to have to rein it in for now. Um, I'll still be on YouTube, I'll still be watching you all, I'll still be commenting. I'll still be on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can all have my email, I'll run it across the bottom if you want, if you want to stay in touch with me that way. But 
I need to pull back on stuff. Um, when we got, me and Mrs. got married, we knew we were both not getting on. But my little lad's 12, I'm 51. No, oh, that's wrong. He was born in 2007. Yeah, he was born in, yeah, he's right. 2007, so he's 12 now, I'm 51. And when he gets on to his 21st, I'm going to be nearly 60. So, I need to be around. If things had worked out different, get married at 21, have kids, fine. I'd have been a 45 year old dad, and etc. But I'm not. I'm getting on, so I need to be here for the kids, and the family, and the missus. Um, with all this coming out, um, we got talking to mum and dad. They're both not together anymore, they're both with different people. Um, they've got high blood pressure, they're on statins, so it's passed down. So, my dad's 71 now, and my mum's 68. No, 69, she's 70 this year, next year. Um, so, looking at that, if I stop drinking all those units, I might hit 70. So, I'm away. Go and work on some um, low ABV. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. And three months' time. I'll be back. Okay. Bye.